Hey there, Ryan here at Signature Edits, and inside of this video, I'm going to show you how to install and use presets in Lightroom Classic Desktop. So to start with, let's hop on over, go to wherever your download links are to download your presets. That's going to be our first step here. In my case, I'm going to go to shop.signatureedits.com and log in. Once I have logged in, I'm going to go ahead and download the presets that I've purchased. So in this demo, we're going to show you how to install the white collection. So I'm going to download the XMP presets and the XMP profiles. And I'll explain what those are in a second here. And after that, I'm going to go ahead and open them up in my finder window. If you're on a PC, you'll just want to right click the zip files and click extract. In a Mac case, all you have to do is just double click and then delete those zip files open up Lightroom and import our presets. So in this particular example, we're gonna be importing the white collection. However, these steps are going to apply no matter which presets you're importing. So the easiest way to do it is to go to the develop module. And there's two different options here. If you're using a version of Lightroom like mine, you might have just the import presets option right here, in which case you can go navigate to those presets. You're going to start with the presets, select them all, import, bam and they're imported. Then you do it again, import presets. This time we're going to go to our profiles and import those, shabam. And it says unable to import presets because I've actually already imported them here. And you can see I've got them right here, SE white. So one through 10, just like that, I've got access to all of these presets, right? So that is the basic way. Now, if that isn't working for you for some reason, that's fine. You can also do it by just selecting one of these presets, right click, and go to where it says show in finder. That's just the easiest way to get to the preset folder. You can see here that we have Adobe, Camera Raw, under the settings folder. That's where all of our presets are kept. Now, Lightroom profiles are kept right in the settings folder. That's why you have all of these presets that aren't in a dedicated folder. And then you have the actual presets, which are kept inside of subfolders. So let me show you what I mean in case this is getting confusing. Please stay with me. We're going to grab our downloads here and we're going to grab our Lightroom preset XMPs. We can just rename this. So we'll call this white presets, signature edits, name it whatever you want. You can name it my awesomest presets ever. Drag that right into your settings folder, just like that. Okay. Then you're going to do the same thing with your downloads of the profile XMPs, except for you're not going to actually drag the whole folder. You're just going to copy those and literally just copy paste them into that settings folder. So paste them. And in my case, it's going to say they already exist because I've already installed these, but normally you wouldn't have that issue. I'm just going to hit apply to all, replace, shabam. Okay. Now, if you do it this way, the presets aren't going to show up in Lightroom right away. So we just need to quit Lightroom and reopen. And when Lightroom relaunches, it's going to check for any changes to this preset folder and it will update it with our new presets. So if the first method doesn't work for you, this one should as well. So you can see, of course, the presets are still there. We can then go through, apply them as we like and get those beautiful edits in just a couple of seconds. Now, let's talk a little bit about getting the most out of your presets and some tips for really getting good results. You're going to notice this as that as I go through these photos, for the most part, the presets do a good job, but some of them are going to work. Some presets work on photos right away and some need a little bit of tweaking. So if your presets aren't looking right, it's not because the preset doesn't work. It might be because of a few common issues. The biggest issue I see when presets don't work, your white balance isn't dialed in correctly for that preset. So let's find one of these photos that I know for a fact tends to be better with the white balance adjusted. See this one right here? If I warm things up a little bit, See how much that changes the colors and just the look of the entire photo. Same goes with the temperature, taking it down. So as I warm it up, things get more saturated and more orange. As I cool it down, things tend to get more gray and less saturated, right? So if things aren't feeling right, just try tweaking your white balance first. Again, with these particular presets, they come with custom lighting profiles, Lightroom profiles. And those actually allow you to then adjust the entire preset on a fader from 0% intensity all the way up to 200%. So if your preset is a little too strong or a little too weak, you can just dial it in there. And then you can go through and the exposure and contrast make a massive difference. So if things don't feel right, it might just be because you need to dial back the exposure a little bit. And if now it's a little bit too contrasty, well, we can just take our contrast down a bit, our shadows up. One of the great parts about 
this style of preset, when most of the look is kept inside of the Lightroom profile, is that I can actually adjust all of these basic settings. Unlike some presets where, you know, things are all over the place and it's really hard to make small changes. This is very easy because you can start from scratch and adjust these individually with every photo. So work on your white balance first. You can play around with your tint too. That can often make a big difference. I'm kind of including both of these when I talk about white balance. Then your exposure and your contrast. Let's go through a couple more here, see if we can find an example that gives me something to show you in case things go wrong. Let's find one that's a little more tricky. Okay, this one. This is an example of a photo that looks way better once we adjust the actual temperature. So if I grab my temperature and I take it and I cool it down, see all of a, all of a sudden the saturation just goes away from the image? Well, that's what white balance can do for you. So I grab that saturation, pull it down. I'm going to grab my exposure, turn it down. I'm actually going to turn the preset amount up because I want that effect, but now it's made it too contrasty, so I'll dial back on the contrast, up on the shadows a bit. And if we wanted to, you could always try fiddling around in the HSL panel. If your skin is a little bit too bright, sometimes that can feel unnatural, so we can just grab our oranges, take those down just a pinch, and take our saturation down in the oranges too a little bit. Here's before, here's after. Great. So that, in a nutshell, is how you install presets and some quick tips to get the most out of them. If you're not getting the look you like, it might be because your preset just needs to be adjusted in the white balance, the exposure, and the amount of intensity. All those little things that you just dial in as a photographer per photo. Because a preset can give you a great starting point, but it can't account for every single lighting condition. If the light was really harsh that day, it's going to need different settings slightly than if the light were super cloudy and soft. So hopefully this video has been helpful for you and you're now ready to enjoy your presets. Thank you so much for your purchase. I'm really, really honored that you would try these presets out. And again, if you have any questions, please make sure to reach out and ask. And let me just give you a hot tip here. If you're having issues and you're not able to find a solution, your best bet is first to check on YouTube. So if for whatever reason, your version of Lightroom Classic, today I am using version 10.0. I think 10.1 is already out or 10.2, I'm not sure. But if your version is not quite the same as mine, things look a little different, go ahead, go onto YouTube and search for your specific version and a tutorial for that because there are hundreds of tutorials on YouTube and most of the time you'll be able to solve your problem in a couple of minutes rather than waiting for me to get back to you. So I'm happy to help you, but that'll just speed up this support time basically for you. And lastly, I would love it if you would tag us at Signature Edits Co and use the hashtag, hashtag Signature Edits Presets. I love to see what you're creating, what cool awesomeness you're putting together and just have a chance to feature your work and all that good stuff. If you are interested in more Lightroom tutorials, make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. And yeah, I hope to hear from you. Looking forward to seeing your awesome work. And in the meantime, I wish you luck. Take care.